Hang on. <laughs> hey, this is Lauren, and thanks for tuning in. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. I am here with my good friend, Jen Fry. Uh, she does speak. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. And we're sitting out on the water today, and um, I just wanted to, to bring some information because she's passionate about what she does. She works with a lot of different environmentally um, focused, environmentally focused initiatives. And we're out by we're out in the water right now. We just got done paddle boarding and picking up trash. Um, but there's dolphins everywhere, so it's going to be interesting to see if we can maintain the attention <laughs> of Jen because her passion is our ecosystem and the animals that are in the habitat that we're currently sitting in. Um, but just quickly, we're going to get some recycle updates because there's a lot of things that have changed since uh, I started recycling and uh, Jen and I were just talking about um, did you know that you can't have, uh, you can leave your, your bottle caps on your plastic bottles nowadays um, so it doesn't contaminate the glass when you are recycling. But um, Jen, can you tell us about your work, what you do, and what you're passionate about? What I'm passionate about is the world and all of its environments. And that's a very broad thing, and it includes humans too, which sometimes people are shocked to find. But <laughs> there's a lot of great humans out there and great animals doing wonderful things for our world. I used to work with a recycling program in the Florida area, and one of the things that I learned was that nobody knows how to recycle at all. And, uh, and, and that there's more than one recycling program. Yes, yes. So even if you think that you know, you probably don't know. Even if I think I know, I might not know. But the best thing that you can do is find out where your recycling goes. Because even if you live in the same county, um, there could be different recycling companies. And just like you would go to Dillard's and not expect it to have something that Bell sells, if you recycle with this company, you shouldn't expect them to recycle the same way as another company does. They all have different machinery and different ways of operating the systems. And in general, hopefully they're pretty similar. Um, but the number one biggest thing you can do is just find out where your recycling goes and find out from them what they accept. Uh, blogs will try to tell you, people will try to tell you, your grandma will try to tell you. Uh, even if they've been recycling for 50 years, they're probably wrong because it definitely has changed. Uh, so just find out where your recycling goes is number one. Number two is that I have not heard of any recycling company that takes plastic bags in your single stream or your mixed recycling. So what you're putting in the recycling at your house, if it's all going into one container, that's probably a single stream or mixed recycling, glass, plastic, aluminum. Do not put it in plastic bags and do not put plastic bags in there. They get tangled in the equipment. It's like a bunch of gears and people have to actually go in there, shut down the system and pull the bags out and it makes recycling much more efficient and it's dangerous. Number two, always empty your bottles and cans. Usually they're just separated by a puff of air or a magnet and if they're heavy and they're full of liquid, then they will not get separated out directly and you'll contaminate or trash the system and that recycling might have to get thrown out. Uh, and then number three, like Lauren was saying, is that for the most part, especially if you're in Florida, um, you can leave your bottle caps on. But again, I'm not going to say that for everywhere. You should check where you're recycling. Yeah, I love, those at the top. I love that. And then um, those are three great pointers, three great tips. What is the video that you mentioned that we can put in the description box below? What's that about? If you can give our viewers a little bit of awareness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's an osprey. Sorry, there's, there's <laughs> osprey. There's dolphins. Like life is happening out here on the water today, which is why we need to protect our environment, you guys. Um, what is the, what it's, are we going to drop the link to? It's a tour of a local recycling facility or materials recovery facility. I think oh cool, so you can actually see so how you can it see goes. what happens and they talk a little bit about whys and hows and what you should do. But the number one thing of all of this that you should remember is recycling is lower in the steps of what to do. So the first one is to reduce and then reuse and then recycle. And there's really a reason why it's a lower option. It's better than throwing it out. It does conserve some energy, but recycling still, you have 
those trucks and the energy that goes into it and the energy that goes into making the materials. So if you can just overall reduce what you're using, try to borrow it from someone um, and then reuse what you do have. You don't, you, you know, these days we have lots of places where you can go and refill your soaps and your shampoos and your olive oil. You don't need a new container for every time. A lot of the containers are really the big things, but um, really when it comes to protecting the environment, less is more. It saves you money, saves you time and just do a little less <laughs> yeah and there's um <clears throat> there's a social media uh instagram page called trash is for tossers and this girl has really well ideas um and different methods to as jen mentioned like the first step is to obviously reuse right so reclaim your power back in the things that you're purchasing get a reusable water bottle like stop wasting plastic bottles throwing them out because it goes into our environment it's harming our wildlife we can do better than this like so the final thing on pursuing your passion with Jen is where are you off to next um, it's her favorite question <laughs> heading back to California for now and then who knows what, and what were you doing in Australia Swimming with manta rays. Swimming with manta and rays. Sharks. And sharks. And taking people safely swimming with manta rays and sharks. And what were you doing before Australia? Playing with little kids outside in California. In California. <laughs> so Jen's all over the place. She does not have an Instagram, so usually this is the time where we'd say if you'd like to follow <laughs> Jen. You can follow her on Instagram at, but you can't. Um, so, but one way that you can get connected in the mission of um, expanding outreach and recycling is by clicking on the link below and following the social Instagram page of Trashes for Tossers. Find some different methods, some different resources. Change it up a little bit, switch it up a little bit. Um, certainly you can find a way to reuse what you've been um, not making the most use of. And do you have one piece of advice that someone has either told you or that you would like to share coming from experience with someone that's watching this right now? It can be about anything. I think uh, when we're talking about ways that we can t protect the environment, it's, you know, we don't have a lot of time. All of us are always looking for more time in the day. So if you do happen to find something that seems to work really well for you or a new recycling tip or a way to reduce, just tell one person. Um, that helps, you know, when we share information, we've kind of done the legwork and then maybe we can make it easier for that person who's really struggling that day or has a lot going on and um, just kindly, you know, help them out and by sharing that information with them. And yeah. then we can all, we can all learn and do our part. Yeah, and so just, this is the Pursue Your Passion uh, episode three series. So can you just tell me what led you to this passion about protecting our wildlife? And trash. I love and trash. trash. I she love loves trash. trash. And I love waste. And waste. it's because, uh, and there's another dolphin. Um, as you, as a lot of us do, we love the ocean. And I worked uh, with a lot of animal care and a lot of animal research. And time and time again, one of the biggest threats was just uh, the trash that was in their environment and seeing them wrapped up in fishing line or swallowing a piece of plastic and so I just want instead of cleaning it up I mean cleanups are great and every piece you remove is one less animal potentially damaged by it so we will always be picking up trash but at the same time going above and beyond that and seeing why this trash is there to begin with and trying to stop that flow and it really comes down to us and as consumers and businesses with their uh, social responsibilities in some other countries if you're not from the states you might know but businesses are more responsible for taking back their products they they help pay for the recycling systems or they take back the stuff themselves like the bottles and they have to recycle them and reuse them um, and close the loop so not having just an item come out and end up in the landfill in the trash but having to reuse all of these things and so being able to be a part of that solution of stopping the trash from getting to affect these beautiful places that I love and that these animals are living in is really what I just kept going and everyone's like why are you working at a landfill and I was like the landfill hey we're super lucky when we have landfills in our country because that is every time trash does go to the landfill I mean, if, it's, if we're done with it, that's where it's supposed to go. And so we're lucky that we even have a place to dispose of all of our plastics because a lot of places don't, that you have a trash can, you can put your trash in and a truck that drives by and does that for you. I mean, so kind. that is, we're really lucky to have that. Um, and just helping people to understand, yeah, what their impacts, their choices have and what they're buying has and where it's going. And just 
that they don't even have to buy that to begin with is sometimes just a really eye-opening thing for a lot of people everything you buy has an impact and so and there's also apps to help like if you are um, starting like a, a beach initiative um, or trash pickup there's an app called clean swell and also uh, oh, the NOAA uh, the NOAA NOAA marine debris tracking it's marine trackers they also have an app where if you go out and do a cleanup you can document the things that you find and then they can help uh, that can help to lead to advocacy and policy making as well yeah and every time you find a piece of trash from a company or a brand you know take a picture take them out yeah tag them in it and say yo yo plate yo <laughs> pepsi what's going on and i only mentioned those because that's some of the stuff that we found here today in the water um and there was one more thing i was gonna say but i saw a dolphin yeah <laughs> <laughs> they're all around they're right all now. around right now um Thank you. I think that's it. Yeah, thank you. Lots of gratitude um, for making a difference if you are already getting into this kind of initiative and doing this work. Um, if you know somebody that could enjoy this video or appreciate the benefits uh, as well, please make sure to share with them and like if you enjoyed this video. And thanks again, Jen, for hanging thanks out with me on the water today. I'm being so excited about it. Yeah. To do a moment of gratitude, pan, pan around pan, to what we're seeing and okay. let them enjoy what we've Oops. been uh, lucky enough. So very so much. Oh, yeah. I wonder if we'll see any dolphins. Nothing. Now they're, they don't they're, do cameras. They're camera shy. <laughs> camera shy. But this is our this is our world, you guys. Let's make sure to take care of it. We only get one.